back to Why in the Morning. If it's Tuesday, it's Entrepreneurship Tuesday. At Y254 Channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles at Michelle Ashira. Is where you can find me across all my social happy holidays. I know, right? You're enjoying yourselves. Make sure you guys take care while at it. So being in the holiday mood, right? So we're looking at ways we can take advantage of the festive season. To make more money money is important make sure you save before you spend so in studio i am joined by the founder of tupperware she is uh, she's the manager at tupperware known as helen muyumbu correct I got it right? Yes, I got it right. Thank you very much for creating time to be with us, Helen. You're welcome. You look very, very nice. Thank you. Thank Happy you holidays. Thanks. How are you Happy doing? Happy holidays, too. <laughs> I'm excited. It's, it's, I love this season. Mm -hmm. um, very exciting for me. Very excited for everybody else. Right. And we've made it through 2020 anyway. I know, right? <laughs> yes. It felt like two years in one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We made it. <laughs> yes, so we did. We need to enjoy our holidays. Okay. Yeah. Speaking about enjoying. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are going to look at ways on how we can actually create uh, other streams of income, mm -hmm. make more money mm -hmm. during this holiday season. Mm -hmm. But before that, have I missed anything on the Helen's title? No, you haven't. You've done a perfect job. I've done a good job. Yes, you have. All right. Right. So um, I'm Helen Muyumbu. I love to say I'm a mompreneur mm -hmm. because uh, the first thing I do is to take care of the home, of the household, of people at home, making sure people are making merry, they're enjoying and they're using beautiful products. All right. Yes. Speaking about beautiful products, you have amazing products uh, that I've, I'm yet to meet them. I've mm -hmm. never met something like uh, as unique as your products mm -hmm. in terms of uh, uh, the household items. So take us through of what uh, uh, Tupperware is all about. All right. Tupperware is virgin plastic. It's not recycled, so very, very good for environment because it's a lifetime guarantee. You buy your Tupperware products today, you'll use them for the rest of your life. You know, I have, I've had customers who've told me, you know, I've used Tupperware for 40 years. My child is now 40, but I still have the items I bought then. Mm -hmm. So they're also very colorful, so very good for hosting. At the same time, they keep your food fresh for long. I don't know, Michelle, the last time you used vegetables mm -hmm. and you put them in a bowl and the next day, two, three days, they were spoiled. That's true. But with Tupperware, you can keep your green vegetables for 20, 30 days fresh and crispy. That's very interesting, considering yeah. if you were trying to hold on, hold on to the money spending mm -hmm. during the time of festive mm -hmm. season. So uh, having a place where we can store our vegetables and we ensure that they're still fresh, that's a good, yeah. good news. Yeah? And we have many solutions. We have, you know, fridge items, mm -hmm. you know, so you, where you keep your stuff in the fridge, but you want it to last long and to remain fresh. The most important thing is they have to remain fresh because when you remove your stew to rewarm it, maybe for yourself or for your guests, mm -hmm. you want it to be as fresh as the day you made it, right? Mm -hmm. Then we have storage items. You want your pantry, you know, storing everything, your, your ungas, your flour, your rice. And now we are going on holiday. You don't want when you come back three, five days later or two weeks late, mm -hmm. later, you find weevils in your flour or you find, you know, those doodles in your flour. You don't want to find that. Mm -hmm. So Tupperware, because it's airtight and liquid tight, ensures that you do not get air inside and therefore food stays longer, mm -hmm. right? So we also have microwave items. We have different type of items, but they all give you different solutions. All right. As you yeah. continue this conversation, probably mm -hmm. you could tell us your social media handle so that guys can check it out as you continue having this conversation. All right, perfect. Mm -hmm. So our social media on our Instagram mm -hmm. is um, Tupperware, mm -hmm. uh, Tupperware Kenya Equisite on Facebook the same way, Tupperware Kenya Equisite and of course my page is Helen William on both. All right, Helen. So looking at Tupperware, uh, so where do you guys get your products from? Mm -hmm. And uh, take us through that and how can people access them? All right. Mm -hmm. So we have a warehouse on Mombasa Road. Okay. So you can contact me anytime on my handles, on my phone, or even just come to the warehouse. We actually cook with them. We demonstrate how we use the products. And uh, we have a lady, she, we call her Auntie Jane. She's, you know, uh, with, that, with the husband is called Uncle Nick. We take everybody through how to cook them, how mm -hmm. to use them, and also how to use them to earn an extra income as well. All right. So how long have you been into business when you look at Tupperware? How long has it been into the market in Kenya? In Kenya, it's actually since COVID. Mm -hmm. It's our it's our March baby, 2020. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so far, it's been great. We love it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, what was the market gap that you saw? Because I'm so sure, Ellen, when you looked at uh, any other business, you could have picked any other business. So, mm -hmm. why did you go for this one? And who introduced you to this particular product? Awesome. I've used Tupperware since, okay, so I was once employed, so I was in the airline industry. Mm 
And I used, our bosses used to come with Tupperware products and they would gift us over Christmas, right? So, and I'm gifting people over Christmas. Anyone on this channel will get a gift once they contact us. All right. So, so they would gift us. <laughs> yeah, they would gift us, but mm -hmm. uh, these items would last. Like, I still have those items, like I told you, since then. Mm -hmm. So, in March this year, when COVID came and I realized, you know, we were buying food, we needed to keep food longer, you know, then also people lost the income. So, I sat back and I, I, I have a team of friends and young people that I mentor and moms that I mentor and and we thought so what do we do how do we bridge this gap and then in so in March we said you know what um, a lady called Georgina we have we got the, a baby at the same time hey Georgina I know you're watching so you know we sat and we said why don't we get up aware to get into homes people will save food longer people will uh, you know uh, have solutions but at the same time they'll be able to make an income yeah. so that is how we came about it so we were filling in the gap of loss in uh, income loss in the country and also keep your food longer because then we were buying food and you didn't want to keep getting out of the house because you don't know you know uh, early in march and april we stayed there was lockdown remember so we stayed indoors more yeah, so this came into how we deal with that solution. Mm. That solution yeah. You're saying that so far so good, but <coughs> most, businesses, most businesses in 2020 mm -hmm. that have been struggling mm -hmm. during the recession uh, period. Mm. Uh, so how did you survive this particular few months, considering it's your uh, 2020 baby? Yeah. What was your marketing strategy? Mm -hmm. So word of mouth is one. The good thing is that the products also are great. So they're easy. You know, the, the solution they give you, like, I, like I've told you, um, your watermelon lasts mas maximum two days in your house. But if you know, so if you can find a way of it lasting for a week, mm -hmm. then definitely you'll, you'll want that product. Absolutely. So we look for something that is solution based, right? And also what keeps it going is because we give, you, we, we support uh, businesses as well who support us in, you know, sell in, in mm -hmm. sales or, se or distributing these products. Mm -hmm. So uh, 2020 has been a good year and, and without being insensitive to the people who've lost jobs or income once you know i keep saying COVID could have made us better or bitter for us we chose to say you know what COVID is going to make us better and mm -hmm. so we are here many months later it's made us better all right yeah. so in the holiday mood season mm -hmm. and i'm actually we are, we are checking out a couple of products from yeah. tupperware it's on our screens and they're very colorful oh good for interior yes. decor also <laughs> You want when you enter your kitchen, you feel, you know, life, you yeah. know, there's life. There has been so much dullness around, you know. So you want when you go to your uh, to your kitchen, you're feeling good about it. When your guests visit, you can serve them, serve them in beautiful items, but also they're also eating fresh, mm -hmm. great food. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I also hear the colors trigger appetite. It, it is true. <laughs> <laughs> Such colorful colors. Okay, so let's look at we in the holiday season, right? Yeah. And uh, we, won't sh we won't hide away to the fact that the economy, our economical aspect uh, in, the, in this particular year, it's been very tough. Sure. We, have, uh, we have people who have lost jobs, mm -hmm. we have companies that have closed mm -hmm. down. So let's look at a couple of ways we can uh, you know, get money during mm -hmm. this uh, uh, festive season, even mm -hmm. as we are looking forward to spend with family and friends. Mm -hmm. How can we make money mm -hmm. in this festive season? A couple of business ideas that we can get into. All right. The first place to start is what's your passion? Because once you know your passion, you can turn it into profit anytime mm -hmm. because you don't struggle. You have the grace to do what you do. For example, if you're a good, if you love cooking, you, mm -hmm. have, you already have the passion, you already have the grace versus somebody who's learning how to cook. So someone who's learning how to cook, they will have to struggle so much to bring themselves to the point of putting in so much time to create, you know, that beautiful samosas or food. Or So identify your passion and then look for opportunities that support your passion. So I've always said, and you don't have to start with lots of money you don't have to start with capital start with your passion mm. passion will turn and turn it into profit right so like again if if someone loves like for me i love to do sales i like to talk to people i like to give solutions so i will look for something that i love to to, to do and and distribute it to people mm. so my mine would be first look for passion What's your passion? And God has gifted us in many ways. You know, small things, like if, if you're the type that likes to do things with your hands, turn them into profit. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of companies and people looking for those opportunities. Um, also for business people. So if today I'm selling a pen, and that pen costs for 50 shillings, and I have 
ten, you know, like I have a million of them to go. I can choose, you know what, I'm going to sell, I'm going to sell this pen for the same 50 shillings, but every person who helps me distribute these pens, I'm going to give them a 10 shilling commission, for example. So that means instead of distributing alone 500 pens, with three of us, we're going to distribute 1,500 pens. What does mm -hmm. that mean? More income for us, Created but more income for other people. Yeah. yeah. So that's the way I would look at it. That's why I would say business people, let's support people who want who have the passion for what we do and also the people who have the skill and the talent for what we do we support each other if we do that everybody wins all right do you think this yeah. is the right time to start up any kind of business is there a specific time do people might say uh covid has come let's move it to 2021 uh, things will be better the economy will be a little bit you know uh, relaxed mm -hmm. quite smooth compared to whatever we are experiencing mm -hmm. right now is there mm -hmm. a specific time we should eye for when starting a business the best time to plant a tree was 10 years ago. <laughs> the next true. best time is now. It's right now. <laughs> true. So now is the time. Mm -hmm. it's now is the right time to actually start a business. Mm -hmm. If you look at the most great companies, they started during recession, most of them. So any time is the right time. Just identify what your passion is. All yeah. right. And for someone who's watching us and they're mm -hmm. crying, oh, I don't have capital, I uh, just lost my job, I'm barely, it's just hand to mouth mm -hmm. kind of situation. Mm -hmm. what, would be, what would you tell to that, to that particular that person? person? Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll tell that person to find um, the kind of business that you can do without starting a capital, without having capital, or the kind of support, like ours, for example, you don't need any money to start we have the products that we have the, we do the marketing for you we do all all the you know um like distribute distributorship for you so all you need to do is actually avail yourself let your contacts know what you have and you start earning an income so if you're at zero if you're at rock bottom even if when you're not because mm -hmm. because we always say also have two three streams of income because you never know which one will work you know ecclesiastes 11. so start um, look for an opportunity that can support you that way and then you pick yourself up from there. Mm. Yeah, that's what I would say. Okay, mm -hmm. so for someone who is watching this conversation, mm. earlier on you mentioned something very important. Mm. I don't want them to miss, <laughs> to miss out on this. So you talked about opportunity at Tupperware, mm -hmm. um, Tupperware whereby mm -hmm. you, you were giving on a, on a uh, an opportunity where people can come in and you're gonna work on commission so probably you can take us through that in okay. details yeah. all right so what we do is that uh, we you come in and you tell us you know I want to become we, we normally call you the, a demonstrator I want mm -hmm. to help you or, or to spread the beautiful the beauty of Tupperware into homes mm -hmm. and so uh, we will sit with you and we'll tell you okay we, do, you, we have the products here, we will support you with marketing, we will train you, we will use the products at the warehouse we cook, at the warehouse we actually practically use the products. And then once you sell them, we will give you your commission upfront. So mm. that is one way that we are supporting individuals, businesses and everybody else. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. For someone who's watching this and they already have an ongoing business, mm -hmm. what would be your advice on like tips to take advantage of during this uh, holiday season to mm -hmm. scale up yes. the the business? Yes, one of them is the one I shared, like expand, expand, expand. As a business person, do not be just you, yourself, and the people that you work with. The more people help you to get your product out there, and today we use a lot of word of mouth, remember. We have a lot of, you know, uh, technology, internet, and all that. So use your nieces, use your cousins, use, you know, use everybody who's in your contact to help you tell people that the business exists, right? Mm -hmm. And don't misuse them. Don't, you know, uh, when we, we were growing up some time back, you would have, oh, I'm helping my auntie, I'm helping my uncle, and you don't get an income for it. Mm -hmm. But today, in this world, pay everyone who's helping you spread the business. So that's one mm -hmm. way. The other way, of course, is, is use the internet, social media a lot. Uh, webinars, we now have things like Zoom. You know, like we started using Zoom over four years ago, mm -hmm. you know. So use the when we see the webinars we are do, doing, do them for free. Let people know the products exist. Mm -hmm. Whatever you're doing exists and you will grow your business. Mm -hmm. yeah.
All right. So for guys uh, who are looking forward mm -hmm. to having a good time, mm -hmm. right? January is here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the longest month in the year, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So what will be your, your take on terms of budgeting, you know, for the expenditure of uh, the celebration of family and mm -hmm, friends? Mm -hmm. And then we're coming to, you know, a new year. You know, the, these responsibilities that builds mm -hmm. to pay. So what, how, how, what will be your advice on the okay. aspect of budgeting? Now, financial literacy is a very key element. Mm -hmm. And uh, my advice will be that clear, before you spend for your mm -hmm. holidays, mm -hmm. look at your income flow mm -hmm. and check what must be done. Mm -hmm. For example, school fees must be paid. Mm -hmm. um, uh, rent must be paid, yes. you know. Uh, if you're, you're a young person and you need to go back to school, help out as well. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is that do a budget, a clear budget. Mm -hmm. Look at what income you have. Because sometimes we behave like Christmas has... Uh, December has two salaries, you know, so <laughs> <laughs> bonuses are coming. You yeah, know? they're coming too early. Uh, okay. Yeah, exactly. So do the things like I, I advise this is the best time to buy a school uniform. Mm -hmm. This is the best time to buy school books because uh, there's no traffic and the books are still going at good prices. Everything mm -hmm. is still going at a good price. That should be costing a next, uh, mm -hmm. during next year. Mm -hmm. Then whatever remains, that is what you spend on. And that's why we are saying look for also extra ways of earning an income mm -hmm. so that when you do your budget and you realize, oops, mm -hmm. I, I, I may not make it, mm -hmm. then you have a way of supplementing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, All but right. budget, budget, budget. Budget, yes. yeah, we, yes. we should save more compared yes. to this. And if you're going for holiday, you mm -hmm. could have done that holiday already last year. So my advice is if 2021, 20, you want to go for holiday, December is when you start saving for it. Because okay. you get a good deal and you save more. All right. Yeah. So what's your plan for this festive season? Amazing plans. We want to hear them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, for me and my family, uh -huh. uh, it's a time of visiting friends mm -hmm. and also thanking people who've been with us for the 2020. And also mm -hmm. uh, we take about five or so days to take a holiday uh, out of town next time I'll talk to you about travel and how you expand your horizons through travel mm -hmm. um, and traveling also not cheap but in the in an intelligent way without spending too much so we'll be out of the country for some time yeah, that conversation is something that I'm <laughs> sure we will be so much interested to hear Michelle I told you I'm a mompreneur so uh -huh. I have different ways of making sure different streams of exactly. income. exactly speaking yes. about different streams of income mm -hmm. how can um, how can one move from owning one business mm -hmm. to owning other couple of others mm -hmm. and expand to that level without losing focus mm -hmm. and still be in a position whereby where you are tell, talking to us about you mm -hmm. know all mm -hmm. the good stuff here that's yes. traveling in a wise way so how can we gain that space of having different streams of income all right. understanding your seasons is key mm -hmm. so for a young person I can, uh, young people have 24 hours, no babies, no husbands, no wives, you know, you have all the time. This is the time to keep pruning your passion. So as a young person, keep d doing different things to find out where do you feel this is what I'm comfortable with, mm -hmm. right? Then once you find it, invest time into it and grow it, then at a certain level, delegate so that you can get onto something else. Delegation is the name of the game. Mm -hmm. Because if you focus on one thing also for too long, you forget to grow yourself in other areas. So just like we have seasons, we have winter, we have summer, we have you know autumn, we mm -hmm. have spring. Mm -hmm. You should also evolve in the same way. That know your season, that this is the season for this, this is the season for the next thing. Like for moms, so you could be a career lady and then you suddenly become a mother and you realize I cannot do so much. Mm -hmm. So identify that season and realize what can I do in this season, right? Or in the season like we have, uh, some most many people in winter they lost jobs or they lost an income that's a winter season then identify that season but rise above it and find something you can do within it but how you prepare for it you don't prepare for battle on the day of battle you prepare for battle way before so when the battle comes you're ready get so it is in these times that i'm saying keep trying different things mm -hmm. even when your business is running don't just be one-sided be have have a map of a way of knowing these are my skills and I can do so much with these things so be present in your current situation yes for sure do you strategize on uh, different scenarios whereby anything can go wrong in terms of a business everything that does and go you... wrong <laughs> <laughs> okay <Yes>. yeah <laughs> life wouldn't be life mm -hmm. if it never goes wrong 
it, it will always go wrong. So, do you strategize for that in in a situation like that? How will I react? How, mm -hmm. how will I respond to that? Mm -hmm. If this happened, how will I respond to that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you do that? Yes, for sure, for sure. Um, I I, normal, I normally say ha, let your plan A be your plan A, mm -hmm. but that means your direction, your focus doesn't change, but how to get there can change. I can decide that I want to, I don't know, I want to be. I want to grow my business to maybe uh, 10 million per month, every, to, to make 10 million mm -hmm. Kenya shillings per month, mm -hmm. right? That's my goal. But then when I started off, maybe I thought I will have three staff or 10 staff. And then I get halfway there and mm -hmm. I realize I'm going to achieve that with three staff. So what do I do? I open my business for other people to come in and support me. So things will always come up. Uh, you could, uh, things that we cannot control, some, you could fall sick mm -hmm. or or a family member could need you, whatever, anything can go wrong. It's just knowing that when it happens, we will still get there. It's having that resilience and persistence that, you know what, the goal is there. Mm -hmm. But how we get there, we will just keep going back, going around, going around. Entrepreneurs always have that resilience to be able to change the roots. Okay. Yeah. To where you go. Flexibility. Flexibility <laughs> as well. Yeah. What are a couple of financial lessons that you've learned along the way in your, uh, in your business as just moving from one business to another? Money is a currency. And money flows. It, it's not stagnant. So it will know your address today. It will change your address tomorrow. It <laughs> <laughs> So you need to know how to keep the current of money flowing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so the dis uh, what I've discovered is that always, you, uh, always have a way of keeping your pockets sealed, mm -hmm. you know? Take care of the coins because the coins take care of the big monies. If you, if, if you can't take care of the small monies, you'll not be able to know where your big money went. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether you've had an experience where you have a budget and then the minute money 30,000, 100,000 comes. Your ATM is calling your name. And then you start seeing KFC. And then you start seeing <laughs> that, <laughs> that shoe, that dress. That shoe, that dress, yeah. So mm -hmm. have a way of making sure that currency, mm -hmm. money is flowing into your house. Mm -hmm. Money is flowing into your pocket. Once you have that discipline, mm -hmm. then you'll deal with those uh, you know, cravings of, oh, that shoe, that KFC, that you'll, you'll have a relationship with money that uh, you're able to handle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then that brings just make currency ca flowing. <laughs> make sure. Okay. <laughs> then that brings me to investment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are a couple of uh, investment plans that the youth can get involved in? Mm -hmm. Yes. That are actually favorable. First investment is yourself. Okay. Yourself. Why do I say that? Many of us will get few coins by land, but because you don't have the information or the know-how of what to do next mm -hmm. it stays there and the next thing you're selling it because you want to sell off something so as a youth invest in personal development in mentorship in uh, you know coaching invest in those things because what is inside is what will help you make proper investments so mm -hmm. you don't get conned i don't know that you've had you know situations where people have gone to buy land and they got conned yes yeah so at the beginning stories. i made those mistakes also so mm -hmm. i'm sharing what what has happened along the way and then at the same time when you're young and you make some money enjoy it but invest it back um into your passions you start mm -hmm. with your passions because mm -hmm. your passions will then be able you then be able to afford the greater things Right, you'll be able now to afford the lands that you want. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to afford to to get the factory that you want to start. Um, you'll be able to do farming if you want. Mm -hmm. So, when you have the, ideally, mm -hmm. Michelle, yes. feed your mind, and the mind will feed your pockets. We should just end this interview on that <laughs> note. <laughs> wow, you yeah. know what you've mentioned, which is very very interesting, is that. You know, when we have this conversation with the youth and talking mm -hmm. about investment, they always think about the bigger picture, mm -hmm. which is the land, mm -hmm. all about properties. Mm -hmm. So they don't look at it in a way that where I am at the present, what can I do mm -hmm. currently mm -hmm. to invest in myself mm -hmm. and probably skills and, yeah. yeah. So yeah. And I don't blame them. We don't have many. Our parents also didn't have that, remember? Mm -hmm. Very few of them if they had. And most of them uh, used to focus on education, 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 you know? Mm -hmm. So you find that at the space of talents, the space of passion, mm -hmm. turning it into profit wasn't so groomed. But I'm glad it's coming up now. Mm -hmm. So uh, for the youth, uh, mine will be forget those Netflix, mm -hmm. forget those those you know those long seasons that we watch. 
focus on investing in your mind mm -hmm. you know buy wisdom um you know the bible even says buy wisdom mm -hmm. so buy as much wisdom as you can mm -hmm. because then you will use it to invest wisely to do everything because the way you do one thing is that you do everything if your finances are not okay Trust me, your relationships will not be okay. You know, your health will not be okay. Everything else will not be okay. The way you do one thing is the way you do everything. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. What is the proper, uh, what is the best saving mm -hmm. plan? Because uh, when you talk about, when you talk to the youth, yeah, uh, when you look at savings, it's just, you know, putting your man, money to the bank, mm -hmm. right? But I'm, I believe there are different uh, saving plans and we are ready to learn from you. So <laughs> <laughs> well, we could give us a tip. The banks will not love me for this. <laughs> Because the bank is the worst, the last place you should put money. Where are we putting our money, <laughs> Helen? Where are we putting our money? The, the um, you know, uh, I don't know about, you know about this parable that say that mm -hmm. at some point the owner said when he had this this um, person who came with so many talents gave had three people give, and the last person who never returned the talent in profit, he said mm -hmm. the worst place you could have put you could have put it in the bank. At least it could have given me in some profit, interest, you know. Yeah. So. If you have nothing else to do and you don't know what to do, the bank is the last place. But we have very, very many ways of growing your money. First thing I normally talk about is we have stocks. Those ones will pay you more than the bank. Mm. Uh, we have other skills you can learn along the way. We have skills. Today in, in technology, we have very, very many things we can do. You can use insurance as well, you know, uh, to, to, to manage your money. Mm -hmm. uh, you can, we have funds. We also have uh, businesses that you can do, skills that you can do, like uh, personally I love doing things like Forex, mm -hmm. that will grow your money and you're the one growing your money. So every single day you're in control of how your money is growing. Mm -hmm. Okay. You also do investments that grow your money. You know, small things like uh, buying, I have 20,000 today. Mm -hmm. Instead of taking that 20,000 to the bank, I look, what's my skill? What do I like? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm in college or I'm in high school. I look at what are my friends wearing. I'll take that 20,000. I'll go to Isli. I'll go to Gikomba. I'll go and pick a few things. Mm -hmm. Come and sell them. I'll move my 20,000 into 40,000, isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So instead of thinking of saving in that way, save progressively. I'll use things like Mshwari. People use Mshwari for taking loans. Unfortunately, Mshwari is a great product for saving. Because oh, at the end of the year, and guys, I'm not advertising you, I'm just saying what works, is that they give you, because of having saved and didn't take a loan with them, they give you an interest. Did mm -hmm. you know that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so those are some of the ways. Look for things that are coming up that are like that give you a chance for you to save and earn back. All right, yeah. so now we know the bank is not the place where we should take a money. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are a couple of uh, achievements, stories that uh, looking back in your journey, mm -hmm. uh, being in business, for how long in general? This will be my 10th, 11th year. Over a decade. Yeah. Absolutely. So mm -hmm. looking at your journey, looking back, mm -hmm. just pick a, uh, a scenario whereby you look, look at that particular uh, scene, scene and you feel like that was an achievement mm -hmm. for you yeah wow so when I was running my travel business mm -hmm. and I got the, the chance to partner with other travel you know gurus in the industry and we actually ran a business that we could do we could uh, change lives through travel I look back and I tell myself travel was the best thing that opened my eyes and everyone else around me because what that company would do they used to give us personal development uh, coaching but also travel in different countries experience mm -hmm. different cultures experience different businesses and we were able to do that and i was able to pick up a few of my friends and we were able to do that and today actually all of us are in stable running businesses and not one business so the exposure the exposure is very key the travel is very very key you cannot be in kenya and you live you've only gone to one or two counties michelle you have to be able and it doesn't have to be expensive take a bus go to i don't know western central go to kisi go to wherever just experience what happens when you come back you'll have your mind will have grown but you will use it at a later time like we are doing today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, what motivates you to just keep going and and be focused mm -hmm. in what you do? Motivation is like bathing. We wake up every day, mm -hmm. and you know, you we create a habit of wake up, shower, brush your teeth. These are things that are in you. You've practiced over time, and mm -hmm. they become you. So, 
keeping yourself motivated is waking up every day and looking at the mirror and saying you know i love this girl and i'm competing with this girl and i'm gonna push her to do her best mm -hmm. so don't compete with anybody out there everybody is created unique but you wake up every day and saying just like bathing i'm gonna wake up and i'll stay motivated for this day mm -hmm. irrespective of what the challenges are because like i told you challenges will always be there that's the beauty of life mm -hmm. but the, the ability to overcome is is and to keep running the race mm -hmm. is what matters Mm -hmm. yeah. Someone who's watching this conversation and they have heard whatever you've said, mm -hmm. all the uh, the process, the tips, and uh, let's look at just finalizing it. Mm -hmm. Someone who's watching this conversation and they'll desire to start up a business. They have an idea, mm -hmm. but they don't know how to go about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Mentors, mentors, mentors in your business. Whatever business you want to start, what, whichever, make sure it's your passion and look for. Go to the internet, look for other people who've succeeded in that particular business and learn from them. Reach out to them. People are always willing to mentor. I'm always looking for, you know, I, I've, we always say when you go up, take the lift back down. Mm -hmm. Press top, let it go back down to pick somebody else. So mentors are many. But they don't know you. They don't know you're there looking for that business. You have that business idea. Mm -hmm. So look for people in the business idea that you have contact them reach out to them listen to their story listen to how they did it and you'll be able to building become. capacity building capacity okay yes. so how can guys find you again on social media handles if they want to take this conversation further mm -hmm. and uh, they want to reach out and talk to you about tupperware all right so my personal page is helen muyumbu on both facebook and instagram then for for tupperware household business is tupperware kenya equisite you'll find us on instagram and on facebook as well our numbers are also there as well all right, right. thank you helen muyumbi You're for welcome. creating time to be with us talking to thank us you, on Michelle. ways we can uh, make money during this holiday season mm -hmm. and i'm sure young guys back at home have learned one or two two three things yes for me no money in the bank no more <laughs> I and like enjoy <laughs> your holidays yes, as well. Yes, thank you yes. very much. So at mm -hmm. Y254 channel is where you mm -hmm. can find us across all our social media platform. At Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my social. We'll be right back with more on why in the morning entrepreneurship Tuesday. That is.